All right, I am at a store that I used to come to quite frequently and I haven't been here for several months. It is called Castaways and uh, we're going to go in and see what we can find to flip for a profit. All right, let's go. Okay, let's see what we can find. I do apologize that my phone was zoomed in all the way and I don't really realize it until I, I get a particular glance and then I zoom out and realize, oh, how much did it just film that way? So if anyone has any ideas how I can stop my stupid phone from doing that, I have a Samsung 10e. <laughs> It drives me crazy. I had a bunch of these. Um, they are from the M. M Casino. I really love the little tutu pig salt and peppers, but at $2.97, there's probably not a lot left for me. So really, I'm thinking these would sell in the $10 range, and this result, although these numbers look quite different, is pretty much in the same range. $24.99 with free shipping is very similar to $8.95 with $11.19 shipping. That's, that's, you know, $19 to $25. That's pretty much spot on, about $10 for the pigs. I am just scoping out the vases looking for anything that really just grabs my eye as vintage or possibly EAPG. And of course, I have to look through all the little fake flowers. This is just the back side of the coffee mugs. I liked those fish plates, but historically I have found they just don't bring enough money. This was super pretty. It appears to be a Talavera. You can see it had a $14 price on it. But there was something that was a little bit too contemporary for me in the way it was made versus the expensive Talavera. Now I have talked about these on my Monday live haul show, uh, which would have been June 29th, if I'm remembering the date right, if you want to go back and watch that and see what I had to say about these and how I researched and found out who done them. No matter what, those were going in my cart though. I would use those. And I loved these martini glasses. I was very torn on whether to take these or not. While doing a little research, I did discover that Waterford actually makes a version of these polka dot etched martini glasses. And I did not even pick these up and look for a mark. My bad, it's possible. Sorry. Sorry about the dizzy. I spotted this is Franciscan. Uh, this is the apple pattern. Couldn't find any damage on it. So for 97 cents, I did grab that. This one, on the other hand, was not Franciscan. This was made in China. So uh, all those are the, bleh, although those are cute. Um, for 20 bucks, I left those behind. I had to go back and get my cart. <laughs> I have a bad habit of like leaving my cart, so sorry about that. All right, I spotted this cute little owl, but he's very contemporary. I think they sell those at Target. I liked him though. I debated. 
And then I spotted these, vintage lacquerware. I've done well with lacquerware in the past, and then I realized they were 97 cents each. Uh, but just as I was getting ready to pass on these, I asked one of the employees if she was a pricer and pointed out that they were a set, and she marked them down to $1.97 for the entire set for me. Uh, this guy was interesting, but very, very broken. These are capiz, capiz, peas. I don't even know how you say it but they are on monkey paw. They're usually from the Philippines, and if you have a complete set, they can do quite well. I found this in the completeds uh, that sold for $50 with free shipping. Not a great, great price, but fairly easy to ship, so okay. Very, very modern. I realized I had not looked at the other side hardly at all. Spotted some funny cow doll things. I am seeing these Wilton cake pans everywhere I go now. There are some that do quite well. So if you ever want to know in a particular category of stuff what is selling for the best prices, you just put the item in sort by highest first and go to solds. And so let's just see if there's any standouts for the big money on these Wilton cake pans. Look at Mickey, Mickey and Minnie together, 75. Ooh, I guess they're really popular. Here we have a Star Wars for 80. Minnie Mouse for $69.99. You got more Star Wars, so obviously Star Wars and Disney are ones to be looking for. Peeps, another Minnie Mouse. He, these are Popples, so there's two Popples. Now, here's an interesting thing there. $8, but $62.50 shipping. Huh, pretty lady. And then we're coming down here and we've got another Minnie Mouse. Looks like Minnie Mouse is a very good one to be on the lookout for. Hulk Hogan, more Minnie Mouse. So really just go through and look. Here is a dragon sold uh, somewhere between 60 and 59. So it, this still sold for uh, some good money in here. Oh, here's a root beer, $42, more Star Wars, Mystical Dragon, and that's, I mean, there are some that just really do bring good money still, so keep that in mind. If you're out there looking and these are something that you want to be selling, just kind of go through and make note of the ones that are worth looking for, so hope that helps. These are those brown, brown mold, brown bag cookie molds. That's what it is. And again, I think there's a few of those that still sell really good, but it's not my thing. Ugh. Turtles, tortoises. And you know, they're, they're probably designed to be turtles, but if I can turn it in my mind to be a tortoise, then it comes home with me. And what I found out when I was checking out is the uh, cashier told me that the manager usually takes everything that is turtle and she was surprised these were still there. So that's kind of a bummer.
found all this fairly new stuff. I'm guessing it came from a retail store or maybe even from our World Market Center. They were really big and heavy and they had them priced pretty high. I considered this guy, but he wasn't really well done. He was cute, but just not worth enough for me to bring home. Then I spot these little pieces of pottery, and they are marked Jerusalem. So I grabbed all of them. There was four. Is there four or five? Four. I think there's, I think there's four. You'll see in a minute. Uh, <laughs> And they had the bigger one priced at $1.97 and the little ones were 97 cents each. I decided to take a chance on them. And then I spot this little baby salt glaze pitcher and of course I had to grab that one too. And I have talked about these on my show. I am not sure what that is or how it worked or what it was supposed to do. This is another piece of that uh, Talavera Mexican pottery. But again, there was something about it that just was telling me no, no, no. Okay, these are restaurant wear. They are by Tepco. Um, really nice uh, theme with the Western. So I did grab those too, and also talked about those on the show last Monday. I found this, I don't know if you can see, it's really, it's got that textured, I don't even know what to call it. If you know what that texture rounded print is called, uh, let me know. It was very retro, very 70s. This guy was super cute, um, but he was broken, as you can see on the bottom and very specific to a uh, certain business. I tend to stay away from things that are very um, narrow focused. I loved the color on this and I don't even know how I missed the fact that it is broken to pieces and glued back together. I totally missed it. Totally, completely missed it and bought it anyway. spotted this little house which is a Hawthorne village that I don't know a whole lot about. My instinct was correct though that these were not worth enough to bring home only selling for an average of about 10 bucks. Jenny, why are you getting the cheap little brassy coppery made in China peacock? Because it's a peacock. <laughs> so this is known as a dolphin pattern. Even though it looks like fish, they do call this dolphin in the antique world. As a single, just not worth enough. Had it been two of them, I probably would have brought them home. And we get into the Christmas. Spotted this little guy, super heavy, and this is the St. Nicholas Square Village Collection. A quick search finds that these can do pretty good, even with as big and heavy as it is for shipping. 
because these results are May, June, uh, and we are nowhere near Christmas. So I imagine at Christmas time, these prices do go, go up. So something to be on the lookout for. spotted an FAO Schwartz train, but I tend to stay away from trains and anything with pieces and parts that can break. I tell you what, if you needed Christmas lights, this was a good place. I am not sure where these animals were from. If you know, let me know. Sometimes parts of toys can be just as valuable as the toy itself. They had a huge amount of art stacked up everywhere. These are Scirocco, something I talked about on a recent video. They're always in Roman numerals, so I'm never quite sure what the year is, but I believe they're from the 1970s, possibly 80s which I guess is like really vintage now. Oh my. I believe that. This was a cute little Talavera frame and I almost got it, but again, it's that newer Talavera and this was tiny and it was probably only about 10 bucks worth. And there was two of them and again, I'm like, I'm going in my brain. Do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? And I decided to leave them behind. But I put them together so somebody would not miss that there was two. It looks like they got a lot of art from one of the casinos maybe that did some remodeling or perhaps even closed. I know we do have some casinos, uh, hotel casinos that are just not gonna open back up. So it's very possible a lot of that stuff is going into the thrift stores. Very sad. So that was a pretty fun trip. Um, nothing, you know, mind-blowing profit-wise, but a few good things uh, are going to do okay and probably will be a quick clip. Some things I could put on auction. Um, those little coaster things that, with the shrimp on them that were a dollar each, she ended up giving those to me for $1.97. So shout out to Heidi at Castaways. Thank you very much. Whoops. Thank you very much for pricing those a little more reasonable for me. I love them, and I think they will do well. And, uh, yeah, so if you're in Vegas, this is on, what street? It's on Stephanie at American Pacific. It's next to Bouncy World. If you live over here, you know where I'm talking about. Um, come visit them. It's, a, it's quite a big thrift store, and they get a lot of really nice things. So just wanted to give them a little shout out because uh, I like them. All right, with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And I might squeeze one more store into this video, but if I don't, go hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you on the next one. If I do, you won't see this part. <laughs> All right, see you on the next one, guys.